Friday when I was told to close the door without more information. So the first reason is because Madam has not paid the rent. That was the one of those people that has not paid the rent. Landlord came abruptly at night and told me, not at night but roughly by two, so that and by eight is night hours to That's close the door and nobody should be in and out again. I did so because it was a protocol and I asked them several questions because I was immunizing, immunizing the children, delivering, and doing one, two, three. You know what will be done in the hospital. So when I did so, or when I understood the question, I closed for them because I never wanted to fight with anybody. We, don't, we didn't come here to fight. We had the only one delivery. That delivery was to be decided the next day. But he said, that person to be decided, he had no problem. Term of this Ajikifika, we just do it. And that's what we do it. So immediately I alerted the, the, the elder. Here yeah, we have the elder. And the person supplying this, as a part of the plants. He said that one is eh, impossible. Impossible because the people of the community will lose their, their chances of being delivered. Because this is the only hospital they, conducting what we call deliveries, except Kuwairu. But Kuwairu is too far. So these people are benefiting from the, this region. So immediately, workers, towards the workers, <laughs> they will be displaced. But we have to say sorry. Because some will go back to their home. And remember, that is what they are. Uh, Feeding upon civil, they can even help the family years to do one, two, three basic needs for the rest of the things. But now they want to. To the community, they are going to suffer a lot because they are going to cover the distance towards the other hospitals, which I don't think the poor will manage. Because remember, deliveries were free. They are free because they are using the Indama. CWC clinic is free for children, mm. according to the government law. So we did our best, but we have to go because we've been forced to do that. The reason why I'll be affected emotionally, physically, plus thus, because of the community. When you've adapted to help the community, and now you cannot assess them anymore. How do you feel? Huh? Mm. The cause of this, when I came here on 2019th of November, I found when they were operating with the NIF. And I saw the school coming with the... Oh, what they called? Nemis. And they were being held. So when I was told that, I was just to chip in and continue with whatever was, was ever taking place in the school, in the compound. Only to realize that from 2018, they had not been paid completely. They had been claiming, but not being paid. So might be that is the reason why there's no flow, flow of money now. As a result, the owner of hospital now also cannot manage and you know the expenses of that sector, that sector. I can say almost 90 percent because these people, they are because they cannot manage the payment of them. So they are coming with it and you have to assist them. Mm -hmm. And we have to do the best for them. For example, let's try, we are treating malaria. So, and malaria sometimes you can use a tesonate, a tesonate for the treatment of malaria, which is expensive roughly. 1,500 rewards. Uh, a old woman from nearby will not pay that because even whatsoever he can eat in the house is di difficult. If she has a knife, all is best. During school days, I was seeing student of Nemis, Planet and JF. I can roughly arrange at 42. Sometimes 35 onwards, it varies. I cannot say it is a constant rate. Mm -hmm. uh, the nearest hospital is a missing hospital and they are not using NHIF. Another hospital which we use NHIF around, no any other hospital completely. Unless they shall be traveling to be good. Because I'm sorry for all that we do to be good. Yeah, I'm going back home. Uh, when an incident has occurred, you have to go and resettle the brain. In the Bible they say there's time for everything. So my time for being here is over because they're closed. We have to go back home and start with the brain. And every time we have to start a new race, a child is being given birth and start a new race.
Not only I cannot say we are being paid or we had got the heart of humanistic. That is the reason why we are still working. Now, almost six months. In the first when we were being paid, mm -hmm. one of the hospital was just sacrificing the amount. She has in her pocket and is paying her. Sample you can get in the amount or your pocket and help the, the other person. Please help me doing this work. Nothing but everything shall be paid when the NHS will pay, will pay. So that one was the slogan. Some had even, some had even ran away because of promises. Only when you are gonna more to Libaki, two of us are three. A lab technician, Charles, Sister Anyango, and me. Um, I've been getting my treatment from this hospital since I came here in 2018. Because uh, in this center there is no any other hospital which is offering NHIF services. So we will not really like to pay NHIF and again go for treatment whereby you also use cash after paying the NIF. So it has been of help to us, uh, like even if you get sick at the middle of the night or a child, you come here, you get treated. But now that he, they are closed, uh, it's not a good news to us. I remember even yesterday, I came here with a child which needed to be treated. I could not get the services. And even today in the morning, I was here to seek medical attention and only to find out that they are relocating. I don't know whether they are relocating or they are closing forever. That is a news, but uh, we, we, will, we are at a, a crossroad because we don't know what is going to happen next. We don't know where we are going to get uh, other medical services which are provided by the NIF. So it's a, a condition where we don't know what else we can say about it. It's hard on us as the residents of Nyandema, and those who have been seeking their medical attention here, it's hard. Uh, from here, the nearest, maybe I can say is Koweru, that is Nyandero, I think almost 10. And then the other one is at Nabakodero, which is also for about 6 kilometers from here. So seeking medical attention is quite hard, especially when it is at night, where you need uh, a quick medical attention. Uh, maybe if, even if it is an emergency, it's very hard. So that is what I can say. I have a daughter who is asthmatic, and the asthmatic people, they need attention. They can get attacked any time. So even if she get attacks at night, this hospital is closer, so she can be treated. So you see a condition there that you will need to move 10 kilometers, 6 kilometers. Already that person is in danger.